Hello everyone, what's going on guys, it's KMX here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with a quest guys on the Windcraft server for the Frostbite quest. Let's get into it. So you wanna go to these cords that are right here next to the Tower of the Ascension, over there, and you wanna go into this cave. Let's give it another try. Ready to drill man, down the drill just one start. And you wanna go up these stairs. <coughs> hey Gord, do you know anything about electromagic? Come up here to the drill. Maybe you can take a look at it. And just walk up to it. Oh never mind, do it back up again. No, nothing happened really, <laughs> bro. For the love of Bob, why won't you just break? This ice was created by Freoric, a twain who defended this area many, many years ago. When the corruption got too much, he froze everything, including the people. Do you see them in there? We've tried desperately to get them out, but we've tried all the equipment we had, including the discortion drill. Maybe we should get more destructive. The demolition expert Rudia is further down the cave. It's a long shot, but worth a try. Would you be able to get it while I clear the space? So you wanna go down here? And to this big black hole. Then this guy's gonna be here. Ooh, you're on a private property, you know. Oh, Epicentia? Yeah? That's fair enough. You'll be needing this TNT. Make sure not to drop it, though. Oop. Just travel through this cave and you'll be returning to Epos easy peasy. So just gonna do this <laughs> easy parker jumps. I wouldn't even call this parker. And follow through this cave. This is like the only place where there's mobs in this quest, actually. But you can just walk past them. And you wanna go up to this guy again, standing up here. The drill's back. <laughs> Very nice, this might do the trick. Back up, I'll ignite the explosive. And boom. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing, not even a scratch. I don't understand Fryuk's eyes, it's not real. I'm not sure what else we can do then. And you just gotta wait another second right here. And hear some explosive sounds. And gonna see over there that thing open up. Hey, yeah, I put over here near the cave. Did the explosives not work? I found this old mine shaft on the way back from the cave. It leads to an old lava in my cavern. Might be a long shot, but this lava looks different. Why not give it a try? So you wanna go through here, and there's gonna be a cave here. So just walk through that and you're gonna arrival at this puzzle room here you're gonna do a quick really easy puzzle just like a train you wanna move the things so the lava flows from over there to back here so you're gonna do right twice up once pick up left twice down one place now you wanna go up two Left one, pick up, uh, a another left, down, place. Now you're gonna go to the top right, so just hold the right button and and the upwards button till you get over there. Pick up, one, two, three, four left, one down, place. And here you see you make this beautiful easy pattern. Now you wanna wait over here. And you should have gotten a lava. You can press this button, get into the minecart, this, and you will be on your way back to the mine. Now that you have the lava in your tree, you wanna go up and talk to this guy again. I don't understand how you can hold lava in a bucket, but here we are. <laughs> Truth is, we're not retrieving these bodies for no reason. We believe one of these people worked for Fiorik and is a key to his mansion. We in Netzak think Fiorik has a lot of answers for we want to re redisturb his wealth among those he heard. Right, I've dipped the stick in this magical lava. Just hold the rod and walk into the ice to melt it. Look for the corpse of a key. It might be above you. Good luck. So you wanna hold this little stick that you should have gotten? It's a tad fiery to, to touch. So you wanna go through here, go to the 
you're gonna be breaking the ice around you. The pack dice, you can't break that, so you wanna use it to go up. Just basically follow the pack dice, go up even more. You're gonna need to do a two cent parker jumps over here, up even more, and here you're gonna have the corpse with the key. Now you're just gonna go down again, because this is the key to Fiorix Mansion, what you were supposed to get. Head it out of, out of this ice. Let's talk back to Apple. Let's travel to the mansion together. Here, let's take my horse. This is horse. Where are your horse? Where's your horse? While we ride, let me explain a little bit more about what we are doing. Let's go. <laughs> Backwards? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is weird. As I mentioned before, there's a reason this land is frozen, and it's not natural. Many years before Bob was around, Gwyn was in ruins due to the corruption war. In those times, there used to be a group of natural gifted individuals called the Twains. They defended us with all ele elemental magic. Fioric was one of those Twains. He, he harnessed unnatural power, ice based magic. He used it to protect the land surrounding the mansion. Fioric wasn't like other Twains. He wanted the people he protected to pay and feed them as well thanks. After years, Fioric was rich, while the people he protected lived in poverty and fear. Not only of the monsters, but in fear of Fioric himself. He punished those who disobeyed his curfews and would get angry if anyone tried to move away. The people felt trapped. Eventually, just like the other twins, Fioric felt for the corruption. Not before he had the last word. He froze the land entirely, killing almost everything and everyone. Left outside in it, hundreds of lives were lost. It turns out the ice leveled the spread of the corruption across the land to almost a standstill. It's been this way ever since. Now that we can get in, the, in his mansion, we hope to uncover the street kits of his ice magic so we, uh, so we may undo it and share the wealth he hoarded from the people. Ah, oh, we're here. So you're standing at this match right now? So you just wanna like click this over here? Maybe actually. No, yeah, you wanna click over here. Right click or left click? I'm, I think it's right click. And the door's gonna open. Now you're inside the mansion. This place looks frozen in time. The Grand Tree, well, he did just take and take from everyone around him, so I'm not sure where to start. But I'm guessing he has some protection in this place. It's unbelievable. This is unbelievable. He was so greedy. Ah, uh, I don't think we should insult him. So, yeah, if you insult him, he will get trapped. You wanna head up the stairs, go past this big room, and in over here. Oh, wasn't expecting that. That just proves everything I said about him. Punish people who insult him. Anyways, we should look around for some kind of secret entrance. Cross Fiorix to booby trap his own house. The paranoid frozen crew. So here's a little puzzle. You're gonna right click the statue, statues and they will rotate. These um, to the side ones, you wanna make them to the middle and the big one to facing, toward, facing towards the ta big table. So like that and the same thing on the side. side. So right click to rotate. And... There we go. Now the table is gonna open and you can drop it down. And Apple is here again. That really isn't fun at all. I can't see a thing. Where are we now? A dead end? Well, we know that insults and result in punishment. Maybe a compliment will make him happy. Oh, Fiori, strongest of all the twins. You really are a hero. Maybe in. not. actually, it does. And here you see the carpet opening up to this door down here. Looks like we finally found his private quarters. Look at that vault door. There must be a way to open it. Look around and see what you can find. So you wanna go over here, press this get water button three times. So you get free waters in your inventory. So what do you wanna go up to these fireplaces and right click on all the three? The fire sh should turn off, and the ice will start to throw freeze, which will result in the door opening. And here we have the vault. That's the end of the quest as well. You did it. We have uh, uh, access to the vault. Wow! Even by today's standards, this is a huge amount of money. Just think of how much this was hundreds of years ago. 
grab a little for yourself too. We wouldn't have been able to get here without you. Wait, look at this. It seems to be a piece of Yorick's armor. Surprised it even managed to fit over his fat hat. <laughs> and there we go, it's finished. You can leave the mansion over here. And yeah, this was the first quest guide I've made on Minecraft. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like. I'll leave an IP to the server down below. It's a huge MMORPG Minecraft server. It's a huge map. And it's an amazing server. I really recommend you at least checking it out if you haven't done so. And yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Bye guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.